Question, why has the whole world lost its mind? Why are good intelligent the whole world lost its mind? Why are good intelligent people blindly following ridiculous mandates that don't make any sense? And why are they seemingly okay with people like you and I being punished if we don't comply? I keep hearing the phrase, oh, they're so brainwashed, they're so brainwashed. Well, guess what? They are. I know this video is longer, but please commit to watching the whole thing. It's going to be a lot of information. It's going to be very enlightening, scary, fascinating, but I promise you the 20 minutes will be worth it because it may save our country and your life. So let's get into it. A friend sent me a podcast by Aubrey Marcus titled Why People Give Up Freedom. Aubrey interviewed Professor Matthias Desmond out of Belgium. He has a PhD in clinical psychology and a master's in statistics. This gave him the appropriate knowledge base to answer the question, why has the world gone crazy? In a nutshell, he noticed that when the shutdowns first started, there were projected death statistics said to be the reason for why extreme measures needed to be taken. After a few months, when those numbers were not lining up with what was actually happening, Matthias started to question why. Why were politicians, doctors, and scientists continuing drastic lockdowns when the numbers weren't justifying them? Why weren't other effects or collateral damage of the lockdowns like destroyed economies, suicide rates in teens, and damaging social isolation being considered as well? Nothing made sense from a logical or scientific perspective. That led Matthias to the psychological event that was causing this obvious lack of open-mindedness and rational thought. The answer was a large-scale case of the psychological process known as mass formation. Mass formation is a form of mass hypnosis that arises in a population when certain criteria are met. Listen carefully to what needs to take place for this to happen, and I think your mind, unless you're under unconscious psychological control, is going to be blown. The most important situation that needs to happen for this hypnosis to occur is social isolation, which then leads to a lack of a social bond. Let's first think about the rise of social media, which inhibits real personal connection and shows only surfacey parts of our lives. We have an entire generation that is mainly used in personal technology to connect with other people. Have you noticed that most young people are very compliant with current mandates? Keep that in mind as you listen to this video and you'll understand why. Now, if one wanted to further isolate people from one another, you could have them stay at home to slow the spread, shut down churches, bars, sports, and other areas where people connect, and turn two weeks of isolation into months and then years. Now add masks to the faces of those that are actually venturing out, removing the smiles and facial recognition needed to connect with others, and you've just accomplished large-scale social isolation. Your first goal needed for mass hypnosis. Secondly, mass formation needs the population to feel like their lives are senseless or meaningless. There needs to be a void. One poll taken found that 50% of people feel like their work life is purposeless, and a Gallup poll found that 63% of people in 143 countries feel like they sleepwalk through their workday, feeling no connection. In 143 countries feel like they sleepwalk through their workday, feeling no connection with what they do, and that what they do doesn't matter to anyone. Or imagine having a large part of society be told that their work isn't essential, and then being forced to stay home and not work at all. Don't think that phrases like non-essential are not well thought out. They are designed to make you feel insignificant and meaningless. The second goal of obtaining mass hypnosis. Thirdly, mass formation requires that there be a lot of free-floating anxiety and psychological discontent. Meaning that the people don't know exactly what is making them feel anxiety or discontentment, but the feelings are there. The World Health Organization says that one in five people around the world have some kind of anxiety disorder. If you consider the constant onslaught of mass media fear-mongering and bad news, that would make sense. A constant but ambiguous state of anxiety or fear and discontentment accomplishes your third goal for mass hypnosis and gets you closer to control. And finally, this type of societal brainwashing requires there to be free-floating frustration and aggression. Again, meaning that the feelings of frustration and aggression are present, but the causes are very general. A world that seems to lack any real justice and the constant reporting of heroes being made out to be villains and villains being made out to be heroes would be a perfect way to frustrate a large amount of people. And blaming one group's problems on another group's so-called privilege would be a great way to spur on aggression. Perhaps that's the reason we saw months of unjustified riots being allowed to take place that were broadcasted for all to see. Also, in my experience, the reason we feel certain things can always be found out if people sit down and really think about what they're feeling and why. But if you distract people from thinking about deeper things, 
Tell them their problems are other people's fault or take their minds off tough emotional issues with mind-numbing shows and social media scrolls. They won't bother to do the mental and emotional work to find out why they feel frustrated with their lives. Global injustice and mental distraction help bring in your final need to make people ready for mass hypnosis. Now, if you go back a ways and think beyond the last two years, you'll see how society has been primed for this situation to occur. Decades ago, they took God out of the workplace, government, and schools, removing the personal accountability, higher purpose, and community that people have connected with for millennia. We were also programmed to become attached to things like Facebook and online shopping. That removed the chance for one-on-one -on -one connections and replaced them with instant gratification as well as instant discontentment. We no longer had time to serve others in our community because we needed to get home and binge watch our favorite shows on instant streaming channels or work longer hours to pay for all our stuff. And the strong traditional family led by a strong masculine man has been broken apart, demonized, and cheaply imitated by movements and identities that glorify destructive lifestyles and victim mentalities. So what happens when all four criteria of mass formation are met, society is ripe for hypnosis through decades of programming, and there's a group of people that want to control the entire global population with a totalitarian agenda? Enter the storyline. In mass formation, if a narrative or storyline of fear is introduced, say a global threat of a deadly sickness or an earth-altering climate crisis, and that narrative gives them a pinpointed cause of their anxiety and frustration, well, you start getting their attention. Now give them a solution to that fear that they can be a part of, giving them a newfound purpose, social bond, and human connection, and the susceptible part of the population will now cling to the storyline with everything they have, no matter how unscientific, illogical, absurd, or dangerous that narrative becomes. This is exactly why the world has seemed to lose its mind. They are literally hypnotized with the newfound purpose of saving the world and the connection it brings with those who are under the same spell. The narrative we are experiencing right now has been perfectly planned to meet the important basic human needs of connection, purpose, and family the very things that they have been systematically destroying for decades. Is this coming together? Their plan for decades has been to create a void in the human spirit and then fill it with their narratives and their false sense of belonging to accomplish their plans. They now have a new compliant army ready to do whatever it takes to defend their new family and their crisis solutions. It's a form of hypnotic mental intoxication, and this is what we've been seeing being played out before our eyes. For that army, it's all about feeling like they belong to something bigger than themselves, a tribe with a purpose. The social bond of being part of the solution causes people's brains to be so hyper-focused on keeping that bond that they will not care when their freedom, health, logic, children's well-being, businesses, or whatever else is taken away. That is how the hypnosis works. As we've seen repeated throughout history, if mass formation continues in a society and becomes stronger over time, then eventually the hypnotized and their controllers will take over and form a new type of state or political system, totalitarianism. In a mass formation situation, there is always an object of fear, and that object always has to be destroyed. In this psychological process, the person under hypnosis will even go so far as to let themselves be destroyed. The individual disappears and the collective becomes the dominant entity. So let's consider the current shot protocol so we can save the world from this current disease. Although its safety trial is still taking place, thousands have died and been disabled from it, it hasn't been proven to stop transmission and is now ushering in global discrimination and mass non-employment for those that won't take it, a large majority of the world is still perfectly content to line up for more and praise anything associated with it. How about the Great Reset and Build Back Better, where everyone will give up their hard-earned private property and privacy so we can all be happy? What about Black Lives Matter, where Marxist leaders convinced a large part of the population and corporate businesses to be content with victimhood, destroy their own cities, and to blame white people for all their problems? It may all sound completely absurd and dangerous to you and I, but for someone under hypnosis who wants to be a part of the grand plan and solution, it's everything. Can we talk briefly about some rituals? All the mask wearing, lockdowns, social distancing, shots, tearing down of statues, posting of black squares and rainbow flags all have the functioning of a ritual which actually strengthens the social bond. The bigger and more ridiculous the sacrifice and ritual, the stronger the bond because it's showing their commitment to the purpose and movement. 
What looks like a joke or like something extreme to us looks like commitment and a pledge of allegiance to them. One dark path the hypnosis can take in today's situation, which we're already seeing happening, is that so-called anti and blankety blank deniers will become the object of fear and there will be a call to eliminate or subdue us. All the free-floating discontent, fear, and anxiety will be projected onto those that don't go along with the narrative, which will lead to the masses committing heinous acts against those that do not comply. Again, we have seen this many times in history. One thing important to mention is that hypnosis doesn't cause people to leave their ethical boundaries, meaning that just because they're under hypnosis, it doesn't mean they're going to do something they normally wouldn't do. So there is no excuse for heinous or violent behavior. So let's talk numbers. When mass formation arises, only 13 to 13 to 20% are actually hypnotized. 40% are not, but they go along with the narrative because they feel it's too uncomfortable or too dangerous not to. And 20 to 30% are in opposition to the narrative, want to do something about it, and speak out. So is there anything we can do to change the direction of the situation? Yes. One solution is if the 20 to 30% of the people that want to change the narrative and speak out can convince most of the 40% of the compliant group to join them, then the mass formation is over. If the controllers can't get the majority of the population to go along with the plan, then the plan doesn't work. This is why they divide us in every way they can. So we can't come together, so we don't listen to each other, and so we can't stop their plan. Speaking of plans, have you heard the phrase, trust the plan? It's part of the Q narrative. Mass formation and hypnosis is not only directed at one side of the political spectrum. It's an equal opportunity psychosis, and some of y'all need to consider whether you've been sucked into a movement that has been designed to control your behavior. I will say this, it may be not popular, but I don't really care because it needs to be said. I have never been so berated, threatened, or unfollowed as when I criticize President Trump. Even if it's the slightest suggestion that he's not the leader that people make him out to be, people lose their minds. And that is not normal. I have a lot of other thoughts on that whole situation there, uh, but I just wanted to throw that out there in case you're thinking you're immune to psychological control or hypnosis just because you're conservative or Republican. And please don't bother telling me that you're unfollowing me. I don't care. I'm not here to harvest followers. I'm here to raise up warriors and speak truth. All right, back to solution. Solution two is to continue to speak out. Hypnosis works through the voice. This is why our media is continuing their propaganda every single day. This is why they repeat the same storylines every day across different channels. Is you're a hater. Hi, Patriots. Today I'm going to be.